All right, are you ready for some beginner pull-up exercises that are going to help you finally conquer your pull-up? And we're only gonna be using towels. We're actually not even gonna use a pull-up bar, which I think people find really, really fascinating because there's always those excuses, oh, I can't, I don't have a pull-up bar yet. I can't you know, fit a pull-up bar in my doorway just yet. That's okay. This is the, these things that we're gonna go through today are going to help you so that you can finally conquer the pull-up and finally at least get started somewhere to get the strength to make a pull-up possible. If you're watching this in my Never Miss a Monday newsletter, um, I wanna chat real quick <laughs> about um, some funny things uh, before we get into all the pull-up stuff. Um, number one is this week, I had like a gnat problem in my house. Um, literally there was gnats all over the place. So I was sitting down, I'd be like swatting them. Um, and it was making me mad, like making me crazy. Um, so I asked some friends on some tips on what to do about this gnat problem. And I got a bunch of different things actually. Um, so I filled a, a bowl with soap um, and the gnats like the soap so they get kind of stuck in there. And then I also did um, uh, vinegar in a, a red wine vinegar in a little jar with saran wrap and some holes poked in it, that worked. And then finally I got this little fan thing. It's like a UV light with a fan and it kind of sucks them in. Um, so not pull up related, but just thought that was kind of interesting. Um, also, if you're watching this, I do free pull up workshops. So if you want to join in on the next workshop, it's completely free. We walk through ever like way more than we're going to go through right now, um, for how to finally make it pull up your reality. Um, so just make sure you head down below and you click it. And then also don't forget to like, and subscribe here on my YouTube page, share this video. Let's help the world all get their pull up. Um, there's so many other great reasons to get a pull-up other than just the fact that like a lot of people just want one. Like I was just talking to a woman today. She's like, wow, I've always just wanted to be able to do one. Um, and I hear that all the time. So grab some towels. I have like two dish towels here. Um, also make sure that you have some kind of surface that you can slide on because we're going to do some sliding type stuff on here. But these are going to be some great moves in order to help you build the strength to finally get the pull-up um, if you don't have a pull-up bar and if you're a beginner, this is for you. Um, Let's go. So come on back. We're going to do a nice warm up first. Don't hit your bike. <laughs> Inhale all the way up. Exhale, bring the elbows back and down. <sighs> Inhale all the way up. Exhale, bring the elbows back and down. One more time, all the way up. Exhale, bring the elbows back and down. Let's take the next circlet around to the right. I think the biggest thing is people are fearful of trying this pull-up because it's something that's super hard. Switch to the other side. And maybe it's something that you don't think is possible for you right now. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. I'm here to tell you that it is. <laughs> it really is. Tuck the toes under, arch the back, push the around the spine. But it's going to take some work, right? And it's going to take some belief. Some belief that you may not have right now in yourself. Breathe. I love the pull up. Fingertips towards your body because it's not an aesthetic goal, right? It's not about how you look goal. It's a skill goal. And along the journey of working towards conquering your pull up, you're going to be working your entire body and you will see a huge transformation in your arms, in your core, even in your legs. So it's so much more than just working on a pull up. Switch the hands over. Let's push back to a downward dog pedal at the feet. Sink down to each heel. And breathe. I want you to roll it forward. Chest up tall, toes up, rock them side to side. We're going to do this about two times. I'm going to kick all the shit that I have in my apartment. <laughs> push back, downward dog. Roll it forward. Hips down, chest up, toes up, sway it side to side. Let's do it one more time. Bring it back. Pedal it out. Roll it forward. Hips down, toes up, sway it side to side. Push back to a child's pose, hands nice and wide, head down. Take the right arm over the left. And if, if you're new here, um, if you don't know this, I've actually helped over 500 women conquer their first pull up, switch to the other side. This is literally what I do. <laughs> I literally help 
people get their pull-up. So if you've been wanting this to happen, you've come to the right place. One more on each side. So she the other side, hold it. Awesome, come on out. Huh. All right, so a few different things that you need in order to conquer your pull. If you need some good grip strength, you need a strong ass core, okay? You need that. And you also need some strong glutes, okay? So we're gonna go through some movements. We're gonna first target the core piece and we're gonna use the towel. So we're gonna do a little bit of the core, a little bit of the, um, a little bit of the grip by using this. You wanna make sure that when you're using this right now, that when every movement we do, you're keeping tension on this the entire time. So first couple moves that we're gonna do. Movement number one, we're gonna go into a hollow, 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 a hollow hold. So you're gonna get into a ball, getting nice and tight here. Do this with me. Put your hands on your knees using your hands, push all the way out, take the, the towel, pull it apart. And as you're pulling it apart, you're gonna raise it up and over here. So again, you shouldn't just be in this position and just be like, <laughs> that's not it. Pull it apart, like you're gonna rip it, type of thing, okay? Then movement number two, we're gonna roll to our belly. We're gonna do some supermans, okay? When you work your core, you also need to make sure you work your back. Um, so we're working these supermans. You're gonna lift up, pull this apart, and put this underneath your chin, pull the elbows back, bring it forward, pull it back, bring it forward, pull it back. Again, tension the entire time. We're gonna hold it as we're doing it. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna roll around again. Lots of rolling around. And we're gonna try and do a V in, and we're trying to get the, the towel over our legs. So we're gonna come back, lift it up and over the legs. If that feels like it's too hard for you and you keep getting stuck, you can just tap here and tap the top of it, okay? So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds a piece. Where's my timer? Hold on, let me get my timer, which everyone thinks is a beeper. It's not a beeper, it's a timer. Also, I'm missing the white one I have. Okay, so we're gonna do 30 seconds a piece. So we're gonna go through three times. And remember, this is not about being a hero and going damn fast with all this. This is about slowing it down. Slow it down, stop trying to go so fast. I think a lot of times too, people don't get their pull up because some of the things I'm giving them, they're just rushing through it. You're gonna get way more benefit out of slowing things down, making sure you're really filling it in the right areas than trying to rush through it as fast as humanly possible. Okay, just because you're going faster and doing less stuff doesn't mean it's better. More isn't better, better is better. I say it like a bazillion times. Okay, so let's start with those hollow holds. We go in three, two, and one. Bring it back, pull the towel apart, up and down. And you're pulling it. Like you want to rip it because you're mad. Because you're like, oh, I'm so strong. I'm going to rip this towel apart. Ah! It's getting crazy. We're getting crazy over here. We're going to rip it apart. This time feels like it's never again. Whew. Awesome. Come on out. We got a 10 second break. Roll around. Next up. You're pulling the towel apart, you're trying to rip it apart, you're gonna do those Superman's feet up, arms up, pull back, hold it, and then bring it forward. You're keeping tension on the entire time, you're really bringing those elbows back, and I want you to think about trying to rip the towel apart, because if you can think about that, when you do your pull-up, one of the best cues is trying to break the bar, trying to break the bar in half and get that tension. <sighs> e we like the moaning. Two and one. 10 second break. Come on out. Whew. V ins up and over. Still gonna keep tension the entire time. Two and one. Pull it apart. See if you can get over. Oops. If you can't, just tap to the top. But you're still trying to pull this apart. Again, it's not just like flapping around here, okay? We are making sure that it's pulling apart and we're bringing it up and over, or we are just tapping to the top. Let's go, towel dominating our lives. 
See, if you tell yourself, I don't have a pull bar, I can't do this, I can't do that. Well, until you get one, use a freaking towel. <laughs> use a freaking towel. Okay. We're gonna go back to those up and overs. Two and one. Hollow, up and over, hollow position. This is a great position to start working towards your pull up because you need to use your core as well on a pull up. And a lot of times your positioning will literally be this. Pull the towel apart. It's hard for me to talk because I'm pulling it apart so much. Eek. Keep on. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got one out. Roll it around. Go to the belly. Go to the belly. We're going to keep pulling it apart. Two. And when someone asks me if I was getting like habits that my boyfriend has, and one of the things he likes to do is when he talks about things, he'll start talking in like a fake accent. He'd be like, we are going to do this. And I don't know why. And I'm starting to do it now. Oof. 10 seconds, I'll catch myself and be like, yep, this is, this is because of him. Two. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Ay. Why are we doing this? Oh yeah, because we want to get a pull up, because we want to be badasses. Because <laughs> we want to prove to ourselves that we're stronger than we think we are. We want to show the world and ourselves that we can do something that we thought was impossible that is then going to feed off into other areas of our lives. Oh God, I keep catching my shoe. I typically don't do these workouts with shoes on, so that's probably why. Oh, catching my foot. <laughs> you can. Awesome, come on out. One more time around. You got this. Don't loosen up the grip. Hold on to it. Your fingers might hurt a little bit, that's okay. Here we go. Part, up and down. You're pulling it apart. You're gonna break this towel in half. You're gonna rip it. You're gonna rip it in half. Ah! Keep going. Oh my goodness. My core is on fire. Okay, roll it around. Superman towel pulls. Uh, I was gonna do this workout today on the dock over here, but there's a lot of people. I wanna try and film it outside. Um, I still, even though I've been doing this for, year, for years, I get awkward about doing my workouts and filming myself outside in front of people. Keep going. Yeah. Three, two, and oh my goodness, we, we feeling good. Roll it around. Up and overs, last one. And so I'll show you some real fun tricks to doing your pull-up without a pull-up bar. Arm over, up and over. Do not allow the band to lose it's tension. You're still trying to rip it apart the entire time, even if you're only tapping the top of your legs. That's okay. Up and over. Keep going. We got this. Oh, come on out. We did it, team. High fives. We're not done yet. I'm gonna drink some coffee. This is actually a latte. It's a half-calf latte. So a lot of people don't know what half-calf is. I didn't know what half-calf was. Now I feel really cool when I order it. It's when you get a latte, there's two shots of espresso. One is caffeinated and one is decaffeinated for half-calf. This way you shake a lot less. <laughs> I can't do caffeine, like hard caffeine. I start to shake. So this is a great alternative. It gives me a little boost of energy. All right. Grab your towel. We're gonna multitask. Come on over. I'm gonna take you over here. What I love about these videos is you really get to candidly see my apartment. This is what it looks like. 
I'm actually moving <laughs> again. <laughs> moving my boyfriend. Okay, so you're gonna take your towel <coughs> and you're gonna fold it like this. Okay, we're literally gonna do pull-ups on the floor. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna pair it with a push-up. Why are we pairing it with a push-up? When you do your pull-ups, you need to make sure that you're working on your pulling motion and your pushing motion, okay? This way we keep nice, even shoulders and really keep our posture. If you only work on push-ups or if you only work on pull-ups, you can turn into this. And especially because we sit all day, that's, that's likely, okay? So I want you to walk through this with me because there's a trick to making yourself actually pull the floor. You're gonna fold it up. You're gonna put your belly on the towel. You're gonna lift your feet up and you're gonna squeeze your glutes and if you notice, like my, my um, I'm not like completely flat on the ground with my legs, right? I'm kind of lifting it up a little bit, kind of like the Superman, but I'm squeezing my feet behind me. I mean, I guess you could technically do it like this too if you want a little extra, but try with a bent and lift up. This is gonna allow you to push into the towel a little bit more so you can actually slide when you do this. So lift it up, your arms are to the side. This is as if you're doing a pull up, but you're literally like gonna be like making out with the floor. So toes up, head up, grab onto the floor the best you can and you're gonna slide. Oh my God, it's not sliding. <laughs> I'm telling you, this happens all the time. Let's move it down a little bit. You might need to experiment with how to get the vibe to make this work. Pull the floor. There we go. And then pull it back. This floor is not cooperating with me. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna make the towel a little bit longer. I'm gonna put it on my legs too. Try that. That should work. There we go. So for me, depending on your floor, I guess, my other floors I was at, I could just put it on my stomach and roll and it was totally fine. If you need to, any kind of contact point you have with the ground, make sure the towel's on it so you can slide it. Then you're gonna try to grab onto the floor and try and pull yourself forward. And when you think about this, think about pulling down. Because when you do your pull up, it's not about pulling up, it's about pulling down on the bar so you really feel it. So. Let's do 10 of these, and then we're gonna pair it with 10 regular push-ups. Are we ready? Hello, I said, are we ready? Let's go. Ugh. So pushing back, bringing it forward. We're gonna do 10 of these, that's one. This is two. Oh, you really gotta pull here to make this happen. Three. Four. Breathe. Five. <laughs> Let's get it, buddy. Six. <laughs> I don't even want to look up and see what's on the floor. What is that? Nine. One more. Ten. Oh, my goodness. I mean, let's just think about it. If you could do that, you could freaking do a pull-up because like, this, is, this is tough. All right, we're gonna go into our classic push-up. If you need to do your push-up on the floor, on your knees, that's fine. Um, if you're trying to work towards a better push-up, I definitely recommend you doing it on an incline to doing it with your hands on a chair or a couch. But let's do 10 push-ups to pair it off. Ew, what is that? <laughs> I'm finding all sorts of shit on my floor. All right, here we go. Note to self, as we're cleaning floor. I think that was like a little worm or something. I live on the bottom floor of an apartment complex and ever since, I feel like it's more buggy down here. I was on a higher floor before. That's fun, should we try that again? <laughs> Some are gonna do a zombie version of it. And it's gonna to help to try and engage other, like one side versus the other. I'm trying to find out where I just threw that little worm thing. Oh, it's over there, I see it. All right, we're safe. We are safe. It's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> I'm an adult, I swear. <laughs> Lay in the belly. Okay, for this one, we're gonna scoop with one arm and then we're gonna scoop with the other arm and you're gonna kinda of travel forward. So what we're gonna do is scoop with this Right arm first, 
This other arm is staying there, yes. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other arm. So other arm now comes here and the other arm pushes it forward. Oh, and then we can do it back. Push it back, push it back. Push it back. Try that again. One arm forward, other arm back. And you're gonna zombie style crawl on the floor. Yeah. Other side, crawl on the floor. Yes. And then push it back. And then push it back. Oh, okay. Let's do one more of those. And then we'll go back to push ups. Crawl it forward. Crawl it forward. <laughs> crawl it forward. Awesome. Come on out and do those 10 push-ups again. When you do your push-ups, make sure your elbows are not out to the side like this. Okay, you want your elbows to be 45 degrees away from your body for a classic push-up. Oh man. All right. Give yourself a hug. That's what I got for you today. Arm over, relax the shoulder. And I hope that shows you that there's ways to get started with your pull-up, even if you don't have a bar yet. But if you really want to conquer your pull-up, I really suggest you come to my workshop. It's a free workshop. It's about an hour and a half. So I do questions and things along those lines, but I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know. I'm gonna teach you why you haven't gotten your pull-up yet. I'm gonna teach you what exactly you need to finally make the pull-up a reality. And I'm gonna show you my exact blueprint that has helped over 500 women conquer their first pull-up. Also, if you have your pull-up already and you're looking to like do multiple or make it even better, I have three different programs um, and it's by level. So if you have one and it's pretty sloppy, I have a program for that. If you have a couple and you're looking to get way more, I have a program for that. I know a lot of like um, firefighters, military people, um, they have been doing my program because they're like, shit, I need to get a certain number. Um, also good for that. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this workout. Comment down below. How did you like this? Did you try it? Did you clean your floor? Did you find shit on the floor? Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to sign up for the free workshop. And yeah, I will see you next week.